Welcome, friends and collectors. Thank you so much for joining me for an all-new Diecast Emporium review. In today's video, as you can see, we're going to be taking a look at the 150th scale first gear Peterbilt Model 367 tractor with a tri-axle bottom dump trailer. This is currently available from First Gear in a couple different color combinations. The one you'll see today is a black tractor with the construction yellow trailer. You can also get one as a white set with some blue detailing pieces on it. The choice is entirely up to you. Item number 50-3490 for the one you see in front of you. And at the time of this video's publication here in the early part of 2023, you can buy this model from the Construction Diecast store. The link will be down in the video's description, and the model retails for $129.99. All right, let's go over the box details. As you can see, the model is in a clear window-style box. Here's a clear window. You can see the model inside of it. 150th scale diecast replica, the first gear logo, 150th scale, and ages 14 and up. The side flaps are both identical with, once again, the first gear logo. Unfortunately, the back of the box has nothing on it, and this would be a great place to include maybe some engine details about the real truck, and then maybe the capacity of the real trailer. Just something to take up the space. A suggestion I'll throw out at first gear. It's totally up to them. On the bottom of the box, we have first gear, all their different contact and social media sites. And then over here, we have the item number. Don't mind the typo here where it says it's 164 scale. This is obviously a 150th scale model. Open up one of the side flaps. Pull it out. I have not yet had this truck out of the box at all, so we're going to find out if it has some twisty ties on it together. Here's the plastic pull-apart formers. They appear to be taped. They are taped. And also, if you look, unfortunately, we have the modeler's worst friend. And that is the twisty ties. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video, undo the twist ties, and when we come back, we'll take a look at the truck and trailer up close and personal. All right, folks, thanks for sticking with me. With our sanity mostly still intact, I've undone the twist ties. I've cut the tapes. Let's go ahead and pull apart the plastic formers. Inside, you also have a couple accessories with this kit including a wide load sign and a bumper protection bar behind this that you can't really see, as well as a pointer tool. Those are nice inclusions. Obviously, since this truck is going to be pulling a dump trailer, you don't really need to use the wide load sign, but the bumper bar is a nice touch. All right, let's pull the truck out now, very carefully here. There we go. Knock the trailer over, of course. There's our trailer, and here is our Peterbilt truck. All right, with everything out of the box now, let's go over the optional accessories. Here is a close-up look at the wide load sign. Again, you can use this on uh, any of your little boy trailers from First Gear, so it's nice that they provide an extra anyway. We'll always find a use for it over here anyway. And then the other piece is the bumper bar protection. Let's go ahead and put that on now. It just slides into the two holes on the front of the bumper. I always like recommending a little bit, just the slightest bit of glue or modeling putty just to make sure that it stays in and doesn't fall out. But this one actually is a pretty decent fit. All right, here is the trailer. As you can see, this is mostly all assembled, so you don't necessarily have to put anything on that. All right, with that done, the assembly is complete. Let's take a look at the details first on the tractor. So here we have it up close. Obviously, I really, really like this dark black paint job that they've done. And maybe it's the highlight of the white on the wheels, but it really stands out and looks quite good. Here is your bumper and your chrome guarding for the engine, your headlights with the amber turn indicators on the side. Very, very sharp and legible Peterbilt logo on the side of the engine. It is present on the other side as well. Looking from the top down, you can see the chrome exhaust stacks, the chrome headache bar, your lines and connection points, some diamond plated texturing back here, your fifth wheel, and obviously your chrome uh, wheel protectors or fender guards. On the back, you have the Peterbilt logo on the mud flaps, and the mud flaps are plastic and they are slightly flexible, so that's good to see as well. Coming over to the right hand side, again, you have some more tanks. The wheels have different detailing inside the hubs, and they, quite frankly, they look really good. I'm very impressed with it. Finally, moving back around to the front where we started, we once again get a good look at the grill, the engine housing, and everything else. Now, let's take a look at the triaxle bottom dump trailer. You can see that it is painted in construction yellow. It has the alternating red and white DOT striping uh, decaled on it, which looks, again, quite good. The top 
portion of the dump box has some plastic extenders on here. In the real world, this would probably be mostly wood, but in black, it looks quite good. It matches the rest of the trailer. Here's your wheels. You can see what they look like. Here's the back of the trailer, which has Peterbilt decals on uh, the mud flaps there, along with more lights and your bumper bar protection piece right here. Moving along to the front, you can see an access ladder that someone could gain entry into the business part of the bottom of the trailer, perhaps to wash it off at the end of the shift. And here's your connection points for where your lines would go in on the real trailer. Underneath, here's what the chassis looks like. You can see the tread pattern on the wheels. And then obviously you can put the trailer by itself and just rest it on the landing legs there. They are functional and work quite well. You can't raise or lower them though. They're fixed at that certain height. And then obviously the working functionality on the trailer is the opening bottom dump which opens clamshell style. This type of trailer is especially useful when you are moving dirt and material from one side of the site to another side where perhaps you need to build up the area of it. So that is replicated good and works nicely. Okay, let's join trailer and truck together to see what the full set looks like. The two are now joined. And I don't know what it is about the black and yellow com color combination. I've said this a couple times, but really the set does look quite good in person. All right, before we wrap up the video with a display possibility you can use, let's take a look at the functionality on the tractor. The only functionality on the trailer, as I just showed you, is the opening bottom dump doors and then the wheels roll. So let's see if the wheels roll well on the truck. In fact, they do. The lift axle is permanently in the down position, so it is grounded with the other wheels. You can open the hood to get a good look at the motor inside. And on this truck, the hood seems to stay open by, its, by itself without slamming back shut, so that's good to see too. All right, the doors on the cab of the truck, they do open as well, so let's go ahead and open those. Both the driver's side and the passenger side open freely to a good angle, and although it is hard to see on camera, their first gear has actually faithfully recreated the interior of the Peterbilt 367 quite well. Uh, you do have some wood finish on the chairs, which if, if I tilted at just the right angle, you can see that. Steering wheel, pedals, seats, the dashboard is even modeled and has that wood grain finish to it. Honestly, looks awesome. Can't complain at all. All right, let's take our final break. When we come back, we will have these assembled, and I'll show you one pose you could use. All right, so we have our truck and trailer assembled. Let's go ahead and show you what this would look like if an excavator is loading it. So to keep it in the family, let's bring in a first gear 150 scale Komatsu excavator. In this case, it's the PC360. Normally, an excavator would be loading this truck sitting above it in what's known as a bench. This allows for the loading to be done rather quickly with slower or with faster, I should say, cycle times. So in a very unrealistic fashion, here you go. We've got the excavator loading the dump truck in an elevated position. And even if you didn't have the cheap box as a stand-in for our bench, if you want to have the excavator loading the truck, you can do it from either the rear, seen here, or even from the side as seen here. All right, that'll bring this Diecast Emporium review to a close. In summation, I think, anyway, the 150 a scale first gear Peterbilt Model 367 with tri-axle bottomed up trailer is a welcome addition to my 150 a scale construction collection. I really like the fact that after years and years, they brought back this bottomed up trailer and to do it in this very vibrant construction yellow color paired with a black uh Peterbilt tractor. I really think it screams construction. Looks great. The color and paint finish is very, very good. And although some may say that the price tag of $130 is a bit high, you do get a lot for your money. Thanks again so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.